Hey guys, welcome back to Get Real with J Reacts. Today we're going to watch X Men 97, episode 7 and episode 8. Guys, to catch a full length reaction, hit me up on Patreon, patreon.com, Get Real with J, and let's get going. Previously on X Men. I'm so sorry, Mom. I'm so sorry, Mom. I missed that. Destroyed. Wait, hold on. You go at it, you end up dead. I know who we need to see to find Bolivar Trask. Oh, that's right. Sinister. They, they showed us Sinister at the end of the last episode. You've no and idea then Storm how the powers left back. behind by the future. I should I should take notes like some of you guys do. Storm. Oh, here we go. Showtime. Okay, where are we? I'm guessing we're at x mans I mean, Charles. Oh. Gambit's funeral. That was gonna be a flashback to Xavier's. Life, like the cards, is wild. Imagine the security at an X-Men funeral. Us Gambits. Where's Magneto? I know he's supposed to be dead, but... How could she not be here? He loved her! Grief's a lonely war. What she battles is not mere grief. Meanwhile, in the desert. Rogue, where are you at? This is a top secret United States facility. You are trespassing. So what class X-Men is, is Rogue? No, she's got to be training right now. Right? What do we do, Guess sir? Not. Gentlemen, need I remind Ross. you that we're standing in the same place built to hold the Hulk? Thinking about doing a Marvel rewatch. No, will you, will you go on the Marvel rewatch with me? Where are Henry and Bolivar Trask? <laughs> Maybe just all Marvel. Starting with Blade. Now, you get me. You've gone a week now with no new survivors. It's time to let go, son. What about Val Cooper? Rescuers still haven't located her. Look, folks are frightened. They think Dr. Trask just kicked off an all-out war between humans and mutants. He did. Unfortunate optics. Optics, sir? Be patient, Scott. Patience. Damn. I clicked on the prez. We're on our own. I got too comfortable. No one could have seen this coming. Right. Magneto did. And so did Madeline. I know what she meant to you, Scott. To Nathan. So is Nathan Cable? Something of a sister was or did I misunderstand that flashback? Comforting. Right now we have to be strong for the team. It's what the professor would do. Yeah, when's the professor going to show up? Jeez. Look for the helpers. Gene and I can handle it. Rest of you go show humanity that the X-Men are here to stay. Stellar work, Amelia. Triage dies down when the dead stay dead. A lot of redheads in this show, huh? A survivor is the last thing I'd want to be. Great, the news oh, is here. Place. I'm so sorry. Walk with me. Would you like that? Please. <clears throat> Whoa! What's up, Cap? Stand down, bro. This is awesome. Where is Henry Gyrick? Genosha wasn't just a mutant tragedy. It shames us all. Skip the hogwash and tell me what a you know what? I'm gonna pause this really quick. Is doing all the way out here. Can I pause it? So here's the deal. Someone like me that consumed the MCU, because I mean, I, I was into X-Men. That was like my first famous or uh, favorite comic book when I was a kid. I had a bunch of X-Men, random ones because they were different artists. I had Iron Man and stuff like that. But I never really looked at Captain America as really anyone. I never really cared until the MCU came along. And so I completely forgot, silly me, that anything outside of the MCU is all in the same universe. So it's pretty cool for me to see Cap now. And I have a newfound respect for the character than I ever did. So, yeah, I'm really thinking about doing a rewatch from the beginning. Because a lot of these movies I haven't seen and shit. When did Hulk came out in, what, 2006, 2007, or 2000, something like that. And so it's creeping up on 20 years. And now that everything's back together, it seems like I would want to watch it uh, kind of in order, in Marvel order. And I know that Blade... I think it was like the first Marvel movie. And God, that's that was way before 2006. So anyway, I'm going to continue. Guys, sorry, but I just thought I would interject that 
in seeing Cap and showing why it was uh, so uh, surprising for me and kind of happy to see him. Like you, I'm hoping to use Gyrick to get our hands on Bolivar Trask. He built the Sentinels. Last week, Gyrick was transferred out of U.S. custody by some covert division in the U.N. Black Book. Uh -huh. Deep State. Huh. Looks like they skipped town before you got here. O-Z-T. Gyrick was transferred to a facility in Mexico City. Gotta do this by the book, Rogue. My yeah, Rogue's on an avenge, avenge tour. You won't be needing this. Come on, Rogue. Yeah. Funny if it came back and hit her in the head. Is it Start fair to say Rogue's up, gone, Rogue? War's coming. You think there's really gonna be a war? You call your mom? Don't look at me like that. I wouldn't want right. my parents finding out who I was on the five o'clock news. Will you come with me? Duh. Priority for the foreseeable future must be damage control. So is it obvious if, if they got their picture, then they're dead, not that they're missing. Normal people won't accept mutants if they feel threatened. That fear is the whole issue. I dare not waste any more of your tolerance, Miss Tilby. Now this can't be right. This is a damn resort. It's a nice jail. To your point. He's like, it's time. I have no idea where Bolivar Trask is. What's OZT anyway? Right. She's on her own, man. So if she stole that physician's <sighs> skill. Psychic echoes. Then she could read anyone's mind too, right? Still, there's, I would imagine. So many futures lost. Our lives have never been simple. Oh, it's vision awesome. time. A telepath. Madeline. Maddie's, I forgot she was here. Already, I already forgot. I forgot all about her. I mean, I knew she existed, but I, I don't know, I forgot that she was here. Maybe because when I saw her mentally, I saw Jean. Diamond transmutation has never been one of Emma's abilities. <coughs> I've always done well under pressure. Ah, uh, not to the diamond thing. They used her in the movie, one of the movies. I remember she was with uh, Magneto, right? All X-Men to the Blackbird immediately. It's Trask. He said nothing about Genosha. Who didn't? Mr. Sinister. Mm. He didn't say it'd be a mutant massacre. Come to the UN Peace Legion in Madripoor. I'll clear the building. Note Madripoor. this, the lobby vending machine is never out of diet. We can't trust him. Buckle up, team. We head to Madripoor. Mm. What's behind the door? Got this, okay? She's a lush. This is such a relief. It is? Four of our homes have caught fire mysteriously. You knew. Why didn't you say anything? It was your secret to tell. A mother <laughs> knows, Roberto. And mother you knows. would be one of the X-Men, if I'm not mistaken. Is that a call back to Thor? I was afraid he'd be facing this all alone. Honey, shareholders are rattled by anything mutant related. Right, totally. They can't know we have a mutant in the family. Sucks, but it's true. And how to be more discreet. You can start by not burning our house down. Getting cocoa vibes. Remy's dead. But that don't mean I'm ready to accept it. Losing a boy. Over losing two. And her confusion is only natural. I'm still not convinced um, Magneto's dead. We haven't had her funeral. She didn't kill him. Just as you dreamt it. Uh, who's this guy? I guess we're gonna find out. Wow. Now we know what Trask meant by clearing the building. Sleeping gas. Wolverine looks so badass. They're never out of diet. Uber secret break room behind a busted vending machine. Mm. A game, bad guy. A game. Anyone else notice 
the pull tab instead of the normal. It's like an old school one. That place is creepy as hell. Since when did the United Nations house classified cybernetics facilities? OZT. Not ringing any bells from my spy days. Maybe we ask poor man's Oppenheimer before he... Kills himself? We're gonna have to save this dirtbag from himself. Tell us what OZT stands for. I mean, they can all for. fly. Some Not group all of them, that but... rose from the ashes of my old Sentinel program. What about Mr. Sinister? He's building a new type of Sentinel. Worse than what we saw in Genosha. What could be worse than that? That thing wiped everyone out. I won't let him make me any more of a monster than he already has. Easy, boy. What else can you tell us? I have nothing. Well, see you, Bolivar. Vogue, what have you done? What we all wanted to do. <sighs> yeah, Is but... this who we are now? Can't that do that. maniac killed Remy and thousands of people on Genosha. My man! Terminate you! Whoa. Oh, that wasn't a real trap. It's one of those android things. Name of all heaven. Wow. Task has mutated into some sort of human sentinel. Prime Sentinel Protocol activated. Terminate mutants. Well, the first shot obviously wasn't successful because they're all still alive. Free. Do they all survive this? Wait, what about all the guards that were in that building? <laughs> X-Men, take him down. Every time I see another X-Men, I'm like, who is that? I forget. It's more. Oh, this is serious. So is he taking their ability too? Mutants neutralize. So if they can't take him out. Tell me, Orphan, how does it feel to be abandoned by the future? Is that big ol' EMP? Hmm. Got a cable sighting. Electromagnetic cluster grenades are the quickest way to take these suckers down. Cable? What the hell are you doing here? Huh. Can't be. Get out of my Nathan? Brain. Oh my god. Nathan. Let's skip the reunion, Dad. Sinister's working for someone else, someone worse. That's pretty crazy. There won't be much of a future worth living in. Admitted. You're impressed. Tipping our hand to the X-Men you promised me. Yeah, who's this pink draft guy? was a rough draft. You blithering fool. Dude, Sinister is scary as hell. <laughs> oh, Sinister. What you would do is my roadmap for what not to do. Here, the next bit's a pill for your answer. Who is he? My tech's repaired a damaged alien satellite, the Shi'ar. Our empress is to be married, and our empire oh boy. shall welcome a new emperor, Professor Charles Xavier. They said Gyric killed Xavier. Our merry band of muties have been selling the world a very big lie. Yeah, but the mutants and don't so know. Have I. I don't think. All right, so yeah, he's still alive. Heat, like music, it softens things, makes the flesh pliable, smooth as butter. You were born for this. Right. <clears throat> so, like I said, uh, Super nutty, super crazy, super cool. I was excited to see Captain America. Blame the MCU for that. Uh, Charles Xavier. I didn't talk about it in the opening, but the fact that he's still alive. I thought maybe we would see him this episode, episode seven, but not yet. Although they kind of hinted at it at the end. So I have a feeling we're going to see him in episode eight. Just like I thought Magneto is not dead because we never had a funeral for him. They just assumed he was dead. Or we, they made us assume he was dead. Uh, Bolivar Trask. 
without Cable showing up, like how the hell are they going to... I'm like, this this guy has taken out every single one of these main X-Men relatively easy. But I guess a giant electromagnetic grenade or blast, EMP. Uh, episode 5 was everything like everyone said it was going to be. And here we are getting ready to go to episode uh, 8. And Cable, how about that? Cable is Nathan. I think I figured that out. Not when I saw it in episode 6, but... When they were catching us up, right? Uh, the the recap, then you know, hi mom or something like that. And I go, wait a minute, is that Nathan? So anyway, let's go on to episode eight. Skip the awesome intro. All right. So now maybe we get a little I more think about you had a cable. Chance to speak. Should we call him Cable or can we call him Nathan at this point? He's stubborn. Wonder where he got it. Any word why Bishop's not with him? I was just he wondering where Bishop They is. were separated in the time stream. Nathan, a cable, landed in the future, alone. I sent Nathan away to give him the best possible future. It was so horrible, he's come back to stop it. Wow. It's like a super weird back to the future. Or, uh, or Terminator. The future His name is, is Bastion. unwritten. The Prime Sentinels are created using the same techno-organic virus Sinister infected me with as a baby, rewriting their DNA. Forgot about the virus. Designed to replace mutants like humans did Neanderthals. Exactly. Bastion's evolutionary mm. war lasted 300 years. So another dystopia. No, a utopia. Like Utopias old pieces don't work. of tech, any mutant who survived was put to work. Mutants ushered in a bright and peaceful future as its backbone. Why the heck didn't you stop Genosha? I've tried it all over and over. Uh, Each time we attempt to stop the attack on Genosha, we are temporally pulled away from the event. Strange. Cable could travel to the very moment Genosha fell, but time would stop him. How many times? Enough to give up. But a rebel oh. in my future got a lead on one of Bastion's facilities in your time. It's complex. There are too many question marks here. Who exactly this is, is the Bastion? Animated version of Days of Future Past with some differences. We need to do reconnaissance. I know all I need to know. That machine killed my mother. Huh? Both of you, stop it! Look! Well, that's kind of your mother, but not really. Shall welcome a new emperor, Professor Charles Xavier. Scandal exposed. To the exposed. And glory of the Imperium. The X Men faked their mentor's death to garner support. Of course, this is just like, uh,. American politics. Henry Gyrick was found murdered in Mexico City. Bastion's been playing us from the get-go. Lying Professor Xavier may bring an alien army to Earth's doorstep. And it's a shame. I'm hosting a fundraiser here for Genosha. Somebody needs to help those poor souls. The X-Men certainly aren't. We were trying to keep you people from coming after the Professor again. You people? Oh boy. A few bad apples spoil the whole bunch. Come on, Roberto. You have a trust fund. Oh, and now he's gonna decide he's gonna go I with her, stay with mommy. Some retail therapy. Easy decision, I guess. You can help her, Miss Gray. And please call me Jean. Madeline preferred her first name too. I should have reached out to her. It's crazy, Nightcrawler seems. He looks shared, like he would be a demon. Madeline's memories not. are my own, and those cravings for oranges. It's funny because the word "bamf." I remember distinctly from the comics, and I use it often in my life. Bamf, bamf. And then I remember holding him for the first time. But it's all a lie. But he's Madeline's blood. I was abandoned by my mother Mystique as an infant. Despite our shared blood, I know Mystique I was, was his mom. For her. I don't know if I knew that. Family is a choice. This whole cable dynamic is super crazy. Cable's lead points to a town called Harmony outside Pittsburgh. Make it fast, McCoy. The villagers got their hands on pitchforks and torches. I wonder if Sinister's gonna... Bastion's very own Dr. Mengele. Get jealous. <laughs> What's so funny? Wait, what? She's Mangala. complicit in this? He could have been Did I miss so that earlier? More, but he settled on being a Nazi pup. I'm using Hold on. Bastion. Okay, now that I think about it, they were talking about getting played the whole time and her face showed up and I just didn't make that connection. 
this is why it's hard when you're watching something for the first time. There's just so many things you miss. Ends brimming with mutant test subjects. That's my dream. Wow. Bastion says you haven't spoken a word since Genosha. I would imagine that her anger. I didn't know. I swear. Right. Her anger drove her to help them, but didn't realize the consequences of her actions. Curse me. Just please talk to me. You must have something to say. You're sorry, free his ass. Too late for Coco. And apologies. Didn't recognize you without your camera and microphone, Miss Tilby. The X-Men locking up the lead suspect behind Genosha in their basement is a pretty big headline. Now, yeah, that's dude's a robot, man. Not even a person anymore. Invented. How many like him are out there? He probably doesn't know yet. This address doesn't look like any Sentinel facility I've seen. Probably underground, dude. This is no Sentinel facility. Oh. This is Bastion's childhood home. I sense another mind. My son said you'd come get me tomorrow. Hmm? Help an old woman up. Now please, make yourselves at home while I pack. Oh, guess we play along. He drew these. I see a child who could hear things. You shall be the most powerful demon alive. And the boy's father being infected by something from the future. So why would he Sentinel want to destroy technology. his own people? Sebastian? Will I ever be normal? You are normal. He's descended of every Sentinel from Master Mold to Nimrod. You should have warned us about Genosha. Well, I did. So I hand humanity Genosha. Overload their bandwidth. Because when your skin's not in the game... Do not mistake Doom's collusion as indifference to flagrant war Dr. crimes. Doom. Next time I'll send memos. Your Sentinel program can't go I think, wild uh, so long. I think Magneto's collecting data mentally. We also request Dr. Cooper's statement... What is this, a deep state? Those memos go out. I'll even throw in a tour. Genosha's not genocide. It's time management. In a hundred years, mutants outnumber humans ten to one. And generations later, human extinction. Stuff in the news. So I can kind of understand to save from a human. Tomorrow. Operation you know, Zero mindset, I guess. Like, if we don't do this now, we're not going to be around for generations. With all this mutant loving, people like Joe turn to dial-up chat rooms to, to connect. What's a taxi driver supposed to do when a teleporter gets you there in a blink? Here. I kind of get it. Of course it. they are. Do these people even know what you're doing to them? Oh, I admit the more technical not. details, but they know they're joining something far greater than themselves. You said you were building a new sentinel, not weaponizing civilians. Do you have children? I don't trust this old lady, him. man. She's weird. They grow up so fast. Hmm. That hurts. Here, let me show you his best one. The final dream, he called it. Wow. Oh, she's one of them. It imitates life. Yep. Yeah, I was getting creepy witch woman vibes, although she's obviously not a witch, but you get it. Love it. So this kid, Yo, he's got to come in clutch privacy. at some point before the other is. Maybe right now, shit. Would they know they're sentinels? Not at first. Oh, snap. She could be one, too. Popping up everywhere. Oh. The kid. Don't. Yep. You spoil his surprise. So if five or six X-Men couldn't take out one, how are they going to take out an entire civilization of them? He's telling us to face the future. I have a theory. Your future. Let me write it down. Theory. I gotta talk to Hank about his taste in women. Okay, so you know that's not gonna work. You almost have to shoot stuff around them instead of shoot them. Did your butler just turn into a sentinel zombie? This is like uh, John Wick. When the time runs out and everybody's all of a sudden an assassin. Oh yeah, he's got the power. Jeez. 
fancy a trip to the junkyard, tin woman? Chop her head off, homie. There you go, take a few with you on your way down. Oh boy. Why resist the inevitable? I got six reasons why. No, my friend. Nine. There you go. Yeah. Thing crawl across the floor. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, they reassemble. That's not cool. They must get them away from Rogue. It's pretty interesting though that they can sit there and do all this weird stuff as far as like the long tongue thing, or maybe that's just the one. It's almost like a, a mutant got turned into an android or cyborg too. Oh, what's this? This? You too. Oh, I know. That's cool. I've been practicing in the danger room to surprise you. So at the end of the day, the humans are probably gonna blame them for all this destruction, even though it's obvious, not just them. Okay, so if my theory doesn't hold true by the end of this episode, then I'll, then I'll tell you what I think it is. Screw it. I'm not doing this again. Creepy. Nice ride. Is that an X-Men uh, Porsche Taycan? Taycan? That's what it looks like. Florida. He's upgraded from his Mazda RX-8 the movies. Let's show these toasters why you don't screw with the Summers. Family power. Geez, look at the size of that shrimp. Come on. Uh, oh man, these killer robots are trying to kill me. We do not kill mutants. We save them. What? Stand down. Meu filho, do what the men say. You don't kill mutants, you save them. Plot twist? Okay. Bastion, explain yourself. You did it. You saved the world. That human wretch let Magneto out. She's lost her mind. She did it. Still, too little, too late. Huh? You just had to let the dog out. You're a monster. I was born this way. He gonna turn yeah. into one or just kill her? In Genosha, I felt a lot of things. Admiration for those who fought despite the odds. But you know what the oddest thing was? No one seemed shocked or surprised because we always end up in the same ugly place. Magneto knows us better than Charles ever did. But the scariest thing about Genosha Whoa, wasn't the going? death or the chaos. It was a thought. Magneto was right. So Spidey? Oh, I forgot about that dude! The samurai dude. I think I had his comments too a couple of them. Electromagnetic pulse. Got it. Magneto actually did it. Saved our hides? No. Declared war. Where's the professor when you need him? So my theory was wrong. I'm gonna tell you that right now. <laughs> but I'll tell you what it was as soon as this episode ends. I hope that I'm not too late. Hey, you're a little late, homie. My X-Men. Oh yeah, we didn't see Storm at all this entire episode. Okay. All right, so that was awesome. Two more episodes to go. 
So my theory, my theory was that Charles is going to show up with this other alien worldly race that seems to be superior to the humans. And they're going to come in and save the humans from or or even out the odds against uh, Bastion and his army. Magneto, which was a shocker. I wasn't surprised that once her face let him go. I figured she was going to have some sort of a change of heart. The fact that Magneto used that electric magnetic pulse, I just I had no idea. I didn't even think about that. So let me know. Did you guys think about that? He's a, he's a badass, which we obviously already knew. Uh, but yeah, I totally thought X uh, Xavier was going to show up with with those other people and and uh, or those other weird beings with the weird head dresses and stuff and save Earth. There's two more episodes left in this season, so there's a lot of stuff that's going to have to happen or could happen. Obviously, Bastion's still around, and you can't stop the future. That's the whole thing. The future isn't written; it just keeps rewriting itself every time you try to stop the inevitable. So I have a feeling that's what the rest of the series is going to be, but it's awesome. So I'll catch you guys next time. Please subscribe to this channel. If you like this and you want to follow along, also answer my question about doing the Marvel journey. Will you be with me? If I do that, uh, I need your help. So, uh, anyway, join the Patreon for full length reactions and I will catch you guys next time on get real with J reacts.